Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a bit of an emergency gift guide if you're having a little bit of trouble finding something for your loved ones this festive season. So let's crack on. First of all, I think you should ask yourself, what is a present to you? A present to me is something that you wouldn't buy yourself but that you'd really like. And I think a good example of that is stuff like fun homewares. For example, what I've got for one of my friends is some white owl LED lights. My friend's recently moved and she thinks owls are hella cute. So she may buy these herself, but she probably wouldn't right now because she's just moved house, so she probably doesn't have the money to be spending on owl LED lights, but I know that she'll think they're cute. Stuff like that is really good to think about. So for example, if you know somebody is getting a new phone or a new iPad for Christmas, you could definitely get them a case for that or something. Or if you know somebody like my boyfriend who's recently got a new console, you can get them a game to go with that. I always find um, if you buy sort of like a big ticket item and you need other things to go with it, like maybe a controller or something like that, um, those kind of other bits kind of get missed out and could be like well loved. For example, um, I know I'm going to be playing GTA 5 quite a lot, so this is kind of a present for me too. But that's always something to think about. Another thing to think about if you're struggling about giving people presents is hobbies. And that could be, say, say they do a sport, like say they play football, getting something like an insulating, um, also like under armour, I think that's what it's called. Um, something like that so they can still play in the winter. That's like a good idea. Or say if they're a swimmer, they might like goggles, but maybe their hobby's not sports. For example, my friend Mitch loves to read, so I get him a book for his birthday and for Christmas every year. Or for example, you know, somebody who's getting into blogging, like something like an external hard drive could be really helpful for them. There are some type of people who are the people who have everything and they're kind of hard to think about. But if you think about something sentimental, maybe, I personally love sentimental gifts because thoughts gone into them. I can go out and buy whatever I want, but if somebody's put like a little inside joke into a present for me, I love that shit. I love that shit up. One thing I wanted to touch on, which is very specific to Christmas is at Christmas time there are like a butt ton of like festive things that you can get people and I think it's really cool because everybody wants to be like fun and festive um but like say for example you buy your friend a Christmas pudding hat they've probably got a week tops to wear that hat after Christmas and then it just goes into a drawer for another year and I'm somebody that if I spend my money on someone like I want them to use it um so buy them like a cute hat don't wear them a Christmas pudding hat that they can only wear for like one month of the year like they can't be rocking that Christmas pud in February can they and I'm not saying don't buy people festive stuff to do with the season not at all but I think you should think festive but functional that's what I go for and that's what I thought when I saw this this is a tea infuser by Paper Chase which is in obviously looks like a candy cane and although it may look a bit stupid to be using this in July. It's still functional. It's not like a Christmas jumper or a Christmas CD, which you sort of can only really play a certain time of year. You can still use this whenever. And I think it's really cute. Like, and also like it can hang off the side of the mug, which I think is part of its design. And if you know somebody who really likes tea, for example, like this I think was a fiver. So you could get them a box of loose leaf tea and you know, that's a present for under a tenner. So, I think that's pretty cool. It doesn't have to be something like this. It could be something like chocolate, like seasonal chocolate or um, seasonal candles, I think would be really nice. I think festive but functional. If you wanna get someone who really likes Christmas, something Christmassy, get them something that they can use all the time. So now I am probably getting on to the bit that you've all been waiting for, which is the beauty gifts that I'm gonna be recommending. What I think is great about sort of beauty gifts is it's a little pampering sort of thing. Um, and they don't necessarily have to be all that expensive either. Unless you're like really good friends and you know their foundation shade, which I know some of my friends' foundation shades, I think you need to stick with sort of either colour products like nail varnishes or lipsticks or sort of neutral sort of things that everybody will use. For example, I've got my favourite type of hairbrush, which is a wet brush as an example. Like most people need to brush their hair. So having a nice hairbrush would be kind of helpful. Another example would be this here. This is one of those light up mirrors which you can get, which my mum really wanted. And my mum knows I'm getting it for her. So this isn't gonna be a surprise. But um, something like this, you know, if people wear makeup, they probably wanna see themselves putting it on. And so something like this would be really cool. However, you may know some people a little bit better than that if you still want to get them beauty gifts. That makes it sound like I don't know my mum. I do know my mum. <laughs> I think another great thing to get for somebody for Christmas is a fragrance. If you know somebody's signature fragrance, just get them that. But if you don't and you sort of know what kind of smells that they like, um, 
I think you should think about what type of perfume you want to get them. For me, there's kind of two types of perfume. There's like daytime perfume, which is like an everyday one, and there's sort of like going out perfume. For example, my daily perfume tends to be the Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana White, and my evening perfume tends to be the Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. But obviously, these two are quite expensive perfumes. Something really unisex is CK1. I find this one's just really fresh, and particularly if you go to like school and you can't wear perfume or whatever, um, is that a thing? I think that's a thing. CK1 I think is cheap and really sort of unisex and fresh and nice. I also got out this Avon perfume as well. This is Avon Instincts and Avon always have deals on so um, you, don't, you don't have to be expensive perfumes at all. I've also got this Beyonce one which is the Beyonce Heat, I think it's the Mrs. Carter World Tour edition. I got this on offer, I think I only paid like £15 for it when I got it. So I, I always find fragrances are on sale this time of year. So having a look and having a sniff may be quite nice. I think MAC lipsticks are a great present because there's just so many options and I've picked out a few here, five. And you can really get them for any sort of person. What's great about MAC lipsticks, they retail for £15 so they're not crazy expensive but they're not as cheap as other ones. However, if £15 is above your budget. I find the Rimmel Kate Moss Collection lipsticks are really, really nice and they're around a fiver and you can always get those in three for two. So basically apply the same thing to those lipsticks as well. I've got five here to show you for sort of five types of people, kind of. Um, you can always get somebody a nice neutral. This is Creme Cup here, uh, which is also a cream sheen formula. So it's not like crazy thick. Um, so this is for somebody I think who's just kind of getting into makeup and it's just sort of like a pretty pink color. Or you could go to completely the up opposite end of the spectrum. This is actually one that my boyfriend got me. This is Morange, and I think it's really, really nice. I think this type of lipstick w works really well on pale skin tones like mine, but can also work on really deep skin tones as well. So I think that one's a really nice one. I've also got a MAC lipstick for if, say, you know somebody who's trying to get a little bit more daring with their makeup. I find Rabble by MAC is perfect for that. It's a satin formula, so it's a bold colour, but it's not like crazy matte, and you can like pat it into your lips and really sheer it out or really pop it on. Um, I think it looks a bit more scarier in the bullet than it actually is. It comes out a lot pinker and yeah I just think this is a really great staple lipstick for anybody who's getting into makeup. And of course because it's Christmas reds I think are really important. I think the ultimate Christmas red is Ruby Woo. However I wanted to give a special mention to the Viva Glam range from MAC. This is the Viva Glam one which is a sort of blood red which I love by the way. If you don't know about the Viva Glam campaign I will leave a link down below to a blog post kind of explaining all about Viva Glam and I think I actually swatched this lipstick in it as well. But to quickly touch on it, it's 100% uh, of the money that you spend goes towards the MAC AIDS charity. You know some people like to give charitable donations in the name of other people. This is kind of like doing that but you also get a lipstick and as I said 100% of the money you spend, like I spent £15 on this lipstick so £15 goes towards it. It's not like the profits made or a percentage goes towards it, the whole whack goes towards the charity. Um, they also do Viva Glam gift sets around this time of year as well so if you want to get involved in that then maybe have a look at those. Um, but yeah I think having a serious look at the Viva Glam range is a really good idea. I don't think it would be any beauty centric gift guide without mentioning NARS this year. I've got two of the NARS drops this year. Um, I'm lucky enough to have the palette here which I think is a fantastic Deal, but I obviously understand that this is not in everybody's price range for your friends but maybe it's something to pop on your Christmas list. Um, it's three blushes, a highlighter and a bronzer. You get a lot of product for your money so that's really cool but they're also doing sort of gift sets like this one. comes in this really cute box. I've spoken about this a butt ton. I've actually reviewed this on my blog so I will leave that down below. But this is the lip coffret which comes with five lip pencils and what I think is really cool about this set is say you have a group of five friends you could split these up and make like sort of like a little stocking. I'm going to be talking a little bit about making your own sort of gift sets in a second and if you do think about doing like gift stockings like making your own you don't have to go as expensive as the NARS ones. I know Soap and Glory have released quite a few gift sets of their makeup stuff like they've got one for their gloss sticks which I think would be fantastic gifts which you could split up and they've also done one for their eyeliners which I think could be really cool but I'll chat a bit more about that in a sec but if you wanted to get someone the full whack gift set that I think would be really generous of you. Speaking of Soap and Glory's gift sets I really wanted to talk about the Perfect 10 which is a limited edition eyeshadow palette. The packaging looks like this. This is £16 and I cannot fault these shadows. When I wanted to include this I was actually going to liken it 
to the Naked palette and the Naked one because I feel the colorway is really similar. However, when I was getting out other palettes to talk about, I noticed that I actually think it looks a lot more like the Lorac Pro. Hang on, let me hold those up. Look how similar they are. And this one's 16 pounds and this one I think is 42 dollars. Um, there are obviously a few differences. You get 16 shades in this one and you get 10 in this one and there's equal mattes and shimmers whereas there's only three mattes in this one but literally if I cover up that, that top row they look so similar and they're both really really great quality I feel this palette is getting completely looked over by the beauty community I think this is an absolutely fantastic palette I cannot fault the shadows I cannot fault the shades that they put in and I think this is definitely the palette for somebody who can get hold of the Lorac Pro palette um, and this will definitely I think tide them over until they can but I would also recommend the Lorac Pro as well if that's obviously in your budget but yeah both of which are really really great palettes but obviously this one's like dirt cheap and as I said it's limited edition but it's available in boots and if you wanted to hold out and get it yourself this stuff goes half price on Boxing Day so you can get a Lorac Pro dupe for £8 what? <laughs> Sticking with the eyeshadow palette theme, I've grabbed a couple. I think neutral ones are a really great way to go. There are a bunch of holiday ones out at the moment, but I think um, there are some great neutral palettes which are around all year round. For example, this is the Naked Basics palette. I've hit pan on one of these shades and I really like this palette. They've also recently brought out the Naked 2 Basics palette, so if you wanted to get some of the a little cooler toned one. But I think this I think is like just over £20 and I use this all the time for everyday makeup. Um, so this is definitely well loved. A more higher end sort of smaller palette is the Lolita by Marc Jacobs. The shades in this one are a lot more shimmery. They have three mattes and four shimmers. The one in the middle is particularly shimmery. I think this is something to get like your best friend because it's like a really nice palette and is really really versatile. But you can also get bigger ones too. Um, I've got two here. I've got the Stila in the Light palette and the Cargo Cosmetics Vintage Escape Eye palette. And let me show this one to you first. I've recently reviewed this one and I really do like the texture of these shadows quite a lot. Um, and I find these shades are a lot more warm and sort of autumnal but I do think you can use this all year round even though somebody who's kind of into that whole boho chic thing I think this would be a really nice palette for them another really nice palette I think is the Stila in the Light palette I think this one is around £25 but you get a full size eyeliner that comes with it and these are usually I think £13 on their own so that's a really good thing to think about but um, I think this one would be actually really nice for spring which is coming up and it's got quite a few like lighter shades but they're still quite warm and I think wearable by a lot of people Last but not least, I want to talk about making your own gift sets. Um, one that I think would be really cool is sort of if you get like a brush set and split them up and get products that correspond with the brushes. For example, I've got a single eyeshadow here. This is uh, a L'Oreal Infallible one and I've got a brush. You could grab like a 217. And so you can make your own little set together for a shadow and a brush. And you could do this obviously for lips or blusher or something like that. I think the NYX PIX set, which has come out just before Christmas, would be really nice to do with that because there's sort of... Um, a liner brush so you can get someone some gel liner, you can get someone um, some eyeshadow, someone a blusher that you like. And finally my other gift idea would be sort of a get the look starter pack. Have you seen that on Twitter which is like such and such starter pack? It's kind of using that as an idea. If you know somebody who's really into a certain look, whether that's like a celebrity's look or it's just sort of like a makeup trend, you could definitely get them a starter pack. I'm using Kylie Jenner as an example because she's absolutely everywhere right now. And what I get from Kylie Jenner's look is a lot of lips and a lot of lashes. I've grabbed this lip liner, which is a Exaggerate Lip Liner by Rimmel. This is in East End Snob. And then also I've grabbed some of my favorite lashes. These are the Eyelaw Pre-Glued ones. Um, I always find my downfall with lashes is faffing about with the glue. So I always find the pre-glued ones are a lot helpful when I wear lashes, which is very rarely. And I also got a mini um, their real mascara. Here is a little Kylie Jenner starter pack which I thought was quite a cute idea. Um, obviously you can do this for any type of look whether it's like I don't know Marilyn Monroe or Brody Dal or you could do it just about like a sort of makeup trend or you could keep it festive and do sort of like a Christmas day look and give them everything they'll need for a great Christmas day look. I hope this has helped some of you guys out and maybe not made your Christmas list up too much longer I hope. Anyway um, I shall see you guys next week with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my November favourite.